everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is well. Um, I am with you today to show you some um, colour pencils. So these are the Arteza 72 watercolour pencils. Okay. Um, so I was contacted by someone from Arteza um, a week ago and they asked if I would like to collaborate with them. And I said yes, because I have... Um, the gouache and the watercolours from them and I absolutely loved those <laughs> so I thought it would be great I'd love to be able to you know try out some products for them and show you guys and you know see if it's something that you guys would be interested in so um I got sent three things but I'm just going to show you this um today because I kind of want to do them um have I want them to have their own video because I want to use them separately but of course you can use these products all together as well along with other things too but uh, today I thought I'd just showcase them individually and then perhaps um, later on I'll do some where I might be using more than one different type of medium and things like that so I thought I'd start with the watercolour pencils so um, the biggest set they come in at the moment is 72 and I don't think they come in any smaller sets um, but they I think they retail in the UK anyway they retail for about £30 which isn't too bad actually I think that's a pretty decent price I mean you're getting quite a lot of pencils for that money um, I'm assuming it's something similar in um, the states like I don't know in, I'm not sure what it is in dollars but maybe about $30 or so it could be a little bit more could be a bit less I'm unfortunately I don't know I haven't looked on <laughs> the website but I will have links anyway below where you can buy them um, anyway so you can look it, at it yourself so um, yes I decided to go with the watercolor pencils because I do like using a lot of water uh, mediums, I like using paints, I do have um, the Albert Dura watercolour pencils but I thought I'd like to try these and see how these are, especially because they are more affordable, so you know, not everyone can necessarily afford Albert Dura's all the super colours, which I do not have the super colours by Karen Dash because they are quite pricey, I would love them though, so maybe one day, but <laughs> you know, unfortunately we can't get them, anyway. I thought I'd give these a try. So before I open the tin up, um, I'll just show you the colours. So you get quite a nice range of colours on the back. Um, just so you know that these are not put in these, when you open the tin up, they are not put in this order, they are put in a different order. So, And I've actually changed the order slightly to how I want it to be as well. So even my <laughs> my own order will be different to the order they put. It's, it's mostly following this though. So it says, professional grade, artist quality watercolour pencils, break resistant, soft and thick waterable soluble leads, unsurpassable light fast and acid free quality pigments, use wet or dry for unlimited blending techniques, ideal for watercolour effects, drawing and illustrating. So that is information there. Um, it is also, just for any of those that are environmental conscious people, it is FC, FSC, so that is a really good thing. I like that they've, um, you know, sustainably resourced the wood in these pencils because I know some people are, are concerned about obviously colouring does have an impact on the environment as most things do unfortunately so it's great to see that um they um you know are considering that and also the fact that this comes in a tin as well is also quite good although cardboard boxes are fine too but it's obviously nicer if you have it in tin so it is a nice um you know it's nice and sturdy to keep them all in um Oh, it does say here that watercolour pencils are available in a variety of sets and colours, huh. But on the UK site, you can only get the 72, so maybe on the US site, you might be able to get them in more sets then. Oh, well, that's quite interesting. I'll have to have a look at that. Um, so that is that information for you. So if you open them up, um, they come in three tier sets. So there's like three little trays. Um obviously these little plastic trays that they come in. So as I said, I have rearranged them, but they kind of had a range of purple, green, blue, yellow, red, brown, black. They had like a variety of all those colors in the three trays, whereas I've just like taken them out and rearranged them. The only downside I'm gonna say to this is that these little things here, it's actually quite hard to get hold of them. I find it quite hard to pick them up. So I kind of have to like shimmy this over the edge so I can grab it underneath rather than pick it up from this because it's it's quite hard so and also if you're taking them out do be careful because this is obviously quite flimsy plastic you don't want to accidentally drop all your pencils out <laughs> so you just need to be careful um but i love the the color names on some of these like i think they're amazing like peaches and cream marmalade just great names um that's one thing i do like about that having different names so um you will see if i pick up a pencil 
big of this one. Um, there's the name on it. I hope you can see because at the moment it's looking quite dark in my camera. Um, so hopefully you can see there's the name. There's a number for the pencil and then there's these three pluses. So that is the light fastness I believe. It doesn't say it on the tin but from what the other products I have I'm assuming this is the light fastness. So I think three probably means it's very light fast. Um, there's a couple here that have like two on. So like this marmalade one's got two. So um obviously it's not as light fast and then this white has got one on it so maybe that's the least white fa light fastness i i'm assuming that three is the most because the majority of them have three but i'm not 100 percent sure <laughs> um so you know that's I, I know a lot of people aren't really that fast about light fastness but if it's just something you're interested in you might want to know um oh that's gonna annoy me if i can't see the name there we go put that back um so they are hexagonal barrels so i i believe the colors are the same as the the um, 72 set of just normal colour pencils but they have hexagonal hexagonal barrels whereas I think the pencils are um, round or cylindrical as a proper 3D shape <laughs> the other ones are cylindrical these are hexagonal so um, you get a nice range of yellows and reds and some pinks there and sort of like pastel colours as well which is nice um, and I will show you swatches as well because I have swatched them out um, I'm just going to oh, take these carefully out the tin. I might be, there we go. Sorry for the noise. I'm just going to, because then I can shove that there. So here are some purples, and you get a nice range of purples, because sometimes I find purples, <laughs> you tend to not get so many. And it's nice to see in a 72 set as well that you've got a good range of them, which is nice. Um, and then we've got some nice blues and greens, and again, that's going to annoy me that it doesn't have a name on it. I want to see absinthe green, that one. Um, and then this is the last colour, which is more our darker greens, browns and greys, um, which, you know, quite nice. So let me show you the swatches. So this is what they look like swatched out. So you have to bear in mind, this is like cheapish paper in a book, in like, a, it's basically, this is a notebook. So um, I do think they, um, they don't necessarily, like the, they didn't dissolve as great on this paper some of them most of them did but some of them you know not as so much but i am going to test them for you in a coloring book so then we will see how they work in better paper so as you can see um this is just all they are here nice range of colors and they haven't bled through the paper this is quite thin paper i do have some that have something else but um that's probably not the best one to show you well, here you can see down here, this is transfer from another thing, but yeah, they haven't really burned through this thin paper, and that was me using a bit of water on, so that's not too bad. But I really liked, um, just from swatching, they were very buttery, and I really liked that feeling. It was really nice, so I like that they're very soft. They, that's exactly what they said on the tin, that they were soft. They are soft. Um, so, without further ado, let's get testing them um, with a picture in a colouring book, because I think... That is the best way to see what they are like. So, Hi, sorry guys, I had a phone call, so unfortunately the video shut off. But anywho, doesn't matter because we weren't in the middle of anything. We were just about to move on to colouring a picture, or not all of it, but some of the picture, with these new pencils. So I'm going to move the pencils this side. And I've chosen the picture from Die Welt unter die Lupe Zelande um, by Rita Berman. And I've chosen this picture here, which has some berries and leaves because I thought we could have a go at doing some of those and we could use some colours so um, we might start with the Christmas holly I think I will also use my swatch to help me and I've got a water brush pen, pen uh, a water brush pen to the side that we could use so um, ah, can I please get to the right page thank you all so um holly tends to have quite bright leaves so i feel like i'd like to use the jade color so ooh, that one awkward tray that i'm gonna have to shift around so that might be what you hear so i'm gonna use jade i think um because i think that'd be a nice color to use what could we have go with the jade maybe basil quite like the basil i don't know why i really really like this basil color that they have i should really like the greens that um come in the set um, the fern and the sage, I don't know if I'd really use those two, but I really like all the other colours, like I feel like, I feel like they're good colours that I would use 
Um, I do wish that was maybe a slightly, like a really, really dark green, just because I'm somebody that loves a really, really dark green. But, you know, you can always make it darker yourself, so that's fine. In fact, I probably will get out the charcoal, and we might do that, just to make it a bit darker. So let's get the charcoal out. Um, I think I might just use those colours. Yeah. I'm just going to use those three. So we'll start with that first. So charcoal, which is A120. Um, this one we're going to use just to help add a bit of shadow. So I'm basically going to colour this how I would colour, like, you know, a normal picture without using watercolour pencils. But obviously we'll add water. Um, obviously I can show you what they would look like dry <laughs> before I put the water. So then you, if you want to use some dry, you can see what they look like. Because that's the cool thing. You can use these dry or wet. Um, and then we'll use jade and then we'll use basil. So I will tell you the names of those as we get to them. So I will zoom in just a tiny bit more so we can see a little bit more. And then we'll do the berries. And then what I'll do is we'll maybe do some of the berries and the other colours as well. I won't colour all these leaves. I'm just going to do a couple, like maybe two, just to show you because I obviously don't want this to be an excessively long video. But uh, I want you to be able to see as much as you can so I'm not going to press particularly hard with the charcoal colour because obviously I want um, to layer the green over the top of it but if I feel like I need to and that's the thing as well when we're using water with these if we feel like the colour is not like bright enough I'm sure that we can go over the top and add more pigment and then you know but we'll see, because I haven't really, um, other than swatching, I haven't really, I mean, I did briefly test these out, and I mean, like, literally the smallest test you've ever seen in a book. Um, in fact, all of, all the products, apart from, uh, yeah, I know all of them, even the alcohol markers that I got, but, um, all the ever blend markers, but I put them on a different book, <laughs> what, a single-sided one, because I was like, I don't want to put them on a beautiful one. I've just got um, a colouring book that I don't ever really colour it. I think it was one of the earliest, well, earlier ones I got, but unfortunately I just I just don't colour it. But I thought, hey, you know what? Now, now I think about it, I think I might use that book for testing things. Because the paper's kind of thick in it. I don't, unfortunately, I think the paper in that book that I have, that I'm using, is probably not the best. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to do that with the green, so um, just in terms of like, it's way different to a lot of paper in other books, but it's quite thick. But this this is um, like what you get in most standard colouring books, this paper that I'm doing on now. So now we have the jade, and it is A059, oh you can't see that, A059, so this is a jade colour. So we'll just go over where we did the charcoal. I may press a little bit firmer just because we want to get more of the green. Oh, and I am going to go over these like I'm not going to be like let's outline that in a different colour I'm just going to colour the whole thing over I just wanted this to be darker so we will go over this bit a little bit okay so do 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 we'll just do this over here as well and I will colour a little bit I'm not going to go over all of this edge I'm just going to do some of it because we'll put some of the basil on it as well Actually, these, I feel like these actually be really nice because I know this, I know we're doing a holly thing and that's for Christmas, but obviously I do feel like these are actually really quite nice colours for a holly leaf, um, just because I see holly leaves, the, this, these sort of colours, and um, sometimes I feel with some of my colour pencils I just don't have the right greens. <laughs> so it's nice to see that I do have some nice greens in this set because I'm all about the greens. <laughs> So this is the basil colour and it's A093 and we're going to use this one, this is our final colour that we're going to use and obviously we will pop that on top where there's white and then also a bit on top of the jade as well. So I'm not pressing, again, so I haven't really pressed super hard on this and you've got quite a nice bit of pigment. I mean I probably would go over it a little bit more if I was going to have it dry just to try and get um, some more of the white spaces away um but as i'm using these as watercolor i tend to not like i don't feel like you need to put as much detail in because <laughs> you know the water's gonna like do it for you so here we go beautiful so now we will add some water and i actually do have an arteza brush pen now this brush pen here this was not gifted to me this i bought myself um it comes in a pack of four 
and I can't think of where I have put the other ones. Where have I put the other ones? Hmm. I don't know where I put the other ones. And it's a pack of four. Um, and then they have different nibs. They've got different nib tips. This is like a sort of, I guess, a smaller one. A smaller nib tip. I don't know what, what I've done with the other ones. Um, maybe I put them in with my... Oh, maybe I have put them in with my paints. Anyway, it's just like a... It looks a bit like that pe the Pentel ones, but it's not. And I actually really find these are so easy to fill up because some of the ones I have are a, a nightmare to fill up. <laughs> You have to like squeeze it, hold it in the water. This I can just under and under the tap and it will fill up. And then all you do is just squeeze and then it lets some of the water out. So um I haven't like tested it like loads, so you know, I only time will tell as to how well I think of it. But I, I really like the fact that it's a lot easier than some of the brushes I have. And I have some Karen Dash ones that don't really work so great anymore. So that's just saying something. Um, but anywho, I will use this brush to... Um, I might. Is it wet? No, I think I might need to squeeze a little bit out. Um, I am going to also have my paper towel to hand in case I need to um, wipe it off. So I will start with the lighter, lightest colour first, which is our Basil Green. Which always reminds me, if if you're from the UK, you might know of a kids program called Basil Brush. That is what that is reminding me of right now. I know it's a herb, but um, you know, <laughs> Basil Brush, the fox. It always goes boom boom. I used to love watching that as a child. Um, I th and, and it wasn't the original show. It was like a, I don't know, a new one that came up in the two thousands. Because the original show was not alive for. No. So, oh, I like this. It's looking nice. I feel like I do need. Yeah, I'm getting more water out now. I just felt like with more water it looked better. Okay, so... There we go. Might just go over it a little bit here again, just to really make sure it's dissolved. So yeah, it has dissolved the pigments quite well. As you can see, and I think that looks quite nice actually. There we go, there's our green leaf, and I think that looks quite good. Um, I'll get um, some other colours. Oh, the lid just ran away from me. I'll get some other colours and um, we can have a go at doing some of the berries, I think, on this holly. So I'll just keep those to the side because I may, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another holly leaf because I, I feel like that one looks looks pretty good and it'd just be kind of the same thing. So I don't, you know, want to be here forever showing you how to do all the leaves. Um, so we're going to get my swatch again, swatch book again. And see, and um, before I do that, as you can see, like the grey, having added the grey in, that has added a bit more depth. Whereas if we had just done the jade, it would have looked good still, but it just it makes it more look more realistic and three D, I guess, or whatever you call it, by having the um, grey in there, which which I have learnt greys are quite useful to help our depth um so that's kind of cool right so let's go to our reds because we're going to have a red berry so i have some bright reds here and then actually i have got a sort of darker red oh i forgot i'm zoomed in let me zoom out sorry guys we have some reds down here and then we have like a sort of darker red here so i think i am going to get the garnet out so it it actually the, the pencil itself does look brown um, I would say it's more of a sort of maroon colour, but obviously here it does look like quite red. I would say it's like a reddy brown, but it, it, the pencil itself in real life looks quite brown, so that's why I've stuck it with the browns. Um, so I'll we'll use that. Hmm. That's interesting, actually. I kind of feel with the reds that rose red's the only red red that we have, because the crimson and the carmine red are kind of more pink. I mean, they, they're like a pink red, so they are so the red. They look more red, actually, on, on when they're not watered down. But actually, with the water, they look a bit pinker in this light anyway. But I think what we'll do is we'll use the garnet, and we will. We will use the carmine red. We'll use the carmine red, I think. Um, and we'll see if it looks, like, kind of pinkish when we do it. It might, might not. And then I think I might use... I don't know whether to use a bit of rose red or whether I should be controversial and use blood orange. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll do both. I'll use rose red and then we can do one where we use the blood orange and we can see what that's like in comparison. That would be interesting. So, um, and then do I want to make it... I might get a bit... Have we got a violet colour? No. I think, again, that's the only slight downside is we don't have a dark purple either. And I would like a darker purple, but we will use our amethyst. We'll go with what we got. 
because you know that's just what we've got to do we'll go with amethyst because we'll add a bit of amethyst to try and um make uh our garnet a bit darker so that's another thing if you, if you didn't know you can use purple like a violet color like a dark purple with red to make it look darker so we will do i oh, will do three berries <laughs> Okay, so let's zoom in again so we can see. Three berries have we zoomed in? That's as far as I can go, so we'll go with it. So I'm going to use the purple. So this is called Amethyst, and it's A088. And I actually really like Amethyst. That is my birthstone. So I don't think, hmm. No, I did once upon a time have some stuff with Amethyst on it, but I don't anymore. But I know that it's my birthstone colour, so I tend to get... You know, if anything with February on it, I get a lot of amethyst going on. So we'll just do this round here. And then what we will do is we will put the garnet, which is the A072, over the top of that purple. So we're not really going to see the purple come through. Or well, we shouldn't anyway. Um, I don't know. When we apply the water, it may look very different. We will see. Um, I may also just go back over it a bit more with some purple again just to make it look a bit darker I, I hope this will come out good I don't know if not we've got plenty more berries we can experiment on so it's not the end of the world okay so I will just get the purple just to add a touch more purple on the top just to make it a bit a little bit more darker so hopefully when we add the water it will just sort of like merge the colors together that's what I'm hoping also, if you were going to use these dry, then, you know, you could do that. And they really do feel, like, really nice and buttery when you put them down, I have to say. And I like that feeling. I like it when pencils don't feel scratchy, and these feel nice. Um, I wonder at what the, um, I haven't got, like, the uh, normal pencils. I don't know what they're like, whether they're similar. So, um, I'll have to get some sometime and try them, perhaps, just to see. Um, so, Carmine Red is what we're going to use next. So, um, I think I'll do these three berries normal and then I might, um, well, I don't know. I kind of want to add that blood orange, but I don't know whether to do that on some different berries <laughs> or just to do it on one of these. Maybe I'll, I'll do it on one of these. So there, there we go. I'll do this one. This one can have the, um, blood orange instead of the rose red. So we'll just do this and then we can... Um, I think I told you the number. So sorry if I didn't tell you the number for Carmine Red. It's the A049. I can't remember if I did or not. And then this is the colour we're going to use now, which is Rose Red, which is A001. And we're just going to put it on these two. And I realise I haven't put the Carmine Red on that, that one over there, which is what I was supposed to do. And I haven't. So I'm going to leave like a tiny bit of white just on that one. This one's not really going to have any because I can't really fit it on there. Um, so I'm going to go back to our Carmine Red just to do this bit at the top because I, I forgot to do this one. I forgot it. <laughs> right, now we'll add the Blood Orange. So this is A073. So we're going to just try this one and see what it looks like in comparison. So you to use orange rather than using the, the red. So I'm going to get my brush pen. Uh, I need to maybe squeeze a bit more water. There we go. Um, so we'll start up here with our blood orange. So again, as we'll go with the, oh, this looks better actually having more water on it now. So I was going to say when we did the leaf, like I didn't, wasn't getting as much water come out as I would have liked. Cause I feel like the more water you have, the better it dissolves the colors, but obviously you have to be careful because we don't want bleed through to the next page. So obviously if you're going to use watercolor paper, then, you know, she might just cut color over the little things there so oh that looks better actually I feel like that's so what I might do is I might do the leaf again just so that we can see it what it's like with the water more dissolved because I feel like it's a bit better because I really like how these berries came out I feel like these look like have dissolved and look better than the leaf does and actually I think it works with the blood orange as well as not with the blood orange I think it looks it looks fine so maybe <laughs> you could do some with and some without so let's quickly just do this leaf um I'm just going to quickly bash it out. Uh, which one do I want to do? We'll do this one because it's kind of similar. Can we see? No, we cannot see, but we can now. So, yeah, I'm just going to bash this out a minute. So, 
excuse me if I don't chat too much I'm just going to try and quickly get it done so that we can have a look at some of the other colours for some of the other things because <laughs> um, I think I don't know whether these are all meant to be winter berries although they can't be because these are like blackberries and they come out in, um, in August well wow, like July August is when blackberries or September as well so when blackberries tend to come come out and to fruition <laughs> we have some in our garden actually actually that reminds me we have some from last year that we've put in our freezer because we had so many um, and our neighbor has an apple tree so she often gives us apples in September so we I think we gave her some blackberries I think we did Um, there is less space because there's less space there there will um obviously be not as much of the the basil green so I'm just getting the charcoal just to add this a little bit darker here because I feel like I want it a bit more darker okay now we can go with the um, basil yeah I do f I feel I do feel like for me I don't think I'd use these pencils dry just because I feel like they're not as bright like or as vibrant um, on the paper dry for me that is I mean maybe if I gave them a few more layers they they might be but obviously these are supposed to be more watercolour pencils rather than you use them as regular pencils obviously you can because there's no rules that says you can't um, but I actually quite like the I really like those berries they just look so good right so we have got some water so I might give it a bit of a squeeze to get some water out so we can really dissolve this and hope that it looks as good as them berries do I do feel like it looks better so I'm now gonna go around this way do, 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 do. there we go right it does look better now that I put a bit more water on it I think and I do still think what we did b before was fine um, but I would say in comparison I do feel like the the greens that we use in the gray I don't think that they come out as good as the reds did so um, I think it might just be that some pencils in the set are going to look more vibrant or not like I just I feel here that we can still see a little bit of the pencil stroke like it has dissolved it but I just it's just the texture it's leaving I don't love that so much like I don't hate it and I'm fine with it being in my books like there's no problem with it but I do prefer it when you get a more even like result here which is what we have with the berries and that's what I like so I do think it might just be that some pencils will just look come out a bit better than others and you know that's the same with most sets of pencils I find because I mean even in my prisoners I've got like my china blue just comes and my electric blue just come up really weird on the paper they don't they're not like the normal cut <laughs> the rest of the prisoners they come out weird so um I think it's just you know how some pencils are but I think that looks really good so shall we um do a bit more on a different one um maybe maybe we will do some leaves on this I think I think those maybe what's it called mistletoe I don't know if it is, it just looks like mis mistletoe, so um, I think I want to use from the mistletoe the sage and the fern green, I want to try those, and I think I might just use just the sage and just the fern, like I don't think I'm going to add anything to add a bit of depth to start with, I mean I can always add it in afterwards, that's the beauty of those these sorts of things, so... Um, and then, um, sage. So we'll start with sage, and that is A098. And we're going, again, we're not going to do all the leaves, so sorry, I'm just testing that the, <laughs> the, the leaf I just coloured is dry, because I am going to be putting my hand on it so I can do this, so. And I might just go a little bit up. So yeah, I feel that like this colour actually is la laying down better than those greens that we had before. So I, I do feel it's just some of them are going to come out a little bit better than others. It just, I think it's just purely depending on some of the pencils. Um, but they'll still look good though. I mean, I still think that that looks good. So, I mean, it's not as, I would say like my Albert Durer pencils, of course, would come out better with all the pencils. 
but you know they are more money so that is just how it is isn't it but considering these are cheaper or more budget friendly shall i say i think these are actually not too bad um also we we're gonna test a few more colors out because we've only tested a few so you know it's nice to try out a bit more so now we're gonna use our firm which is a092 and we're gonna pop that and see I feel like this fern doesn't come out as nice on the paper as a sage does as in it like I feel like the colour doesn't lay down as nicely it's just still like you know again it's, it is a watercolour pencil so like it's not terrible or anything like that so that's what I'm saying I'm interested to see what like the normal pencils I know that uh, some people have them and they say that they're really good so I'd be intrigued to actually try them myself and just compare what they're like um compared to the watercolour pencils because I feel like um, the Polychromos and the Albert Durer's um, they are different, like the Albert Durer's are different dry but I feel like they do come out quite well dry or at least in my Romantic Country colouring book because that's where I tended to use them dry when I did use them dry however I don't use them dry anymore <laughs> I think that was before I had all of them but um, yes so I think I might add a bit more sage on this one just because I feel like it's not quite dark enough so we'll add a bit more sage and I might so it might be that what I might have to do is add is maybe add a bit of a darker colour but we will see when we um, add the water because we don't know until we do that so let's add some water onto those and see what they look like um, but yeah no I think these look quite nice as like a leaf pairing um, yeah I think we need to maybe add something just to give a little bit more depth i feel like um the sage is kind of like melted <laughs> or dissolved and sort of been absorbed by the fern so it doesn't look like we've got too much of a transition of color going on there um so i think what we will do is we'll have to add another color just to bring it out a bit more because if you look at the other the holly leaf here because we added the gray you can see that obviously it does look a bit more contrasting whereas it doesn't so much with with this so um that's why i do i personally feel for me if you want to get a more contrasted look you should add some other colors to try and make it more shadowy obviously if you don't want to do that with your pencils and you want to just do it how we've done here that's fine as well because like it doesn't look terrible or anything it looks it looks fine but obviously i know some people are a bit different in terms of like how they how they like to have their things look <laughs> so obviously if you're somebody that likes it to look like this this is how it will look like and if you're somebody that prefers it a bit like me you will add some stuff to it so um that's going to take some time to dry i don't know if i know what color i could do the mistletoe i think they're kind of like a, what, a white color aren't they they're kind of like a whitey color don't know whether to just try a bit of i think what we'll do is we'll we'll miss the mistletoe out because i'm not really sure what color to do it but we can move on to the blackberry and do the blackberry instead so we'll um i will come back to those leaves it's just unfortunately that i need them to dry before i can add something else on them so we'll try the blackberries now as i say we don't have a very dark purple unfortunately so <laughs> um I'm not sure how to make purple darker. I mean, we could add the char. Yeah, maybe what we'll do is we'll add the charcoal again because I feel like that would go. That's a grey that would go with the blues and the purples. And obviously, we'll have to use amethyst because it's our our darkest purple that we've got. Um, and then maybe ultramarine because that's like a dark blue. So oh, we could always add a bit of black. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether to add a bit of black actually instead of the grey. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add black instead of the grey because if you see a blackberry, you know that it's very, very dark. So we'll actually, if we add black to our purple, the amethyst, it hopefully will make it like a darker purple. And then happy days. So, and we'll add a bit of, because um, I always feel like they have a bit of blue in them, personally. So we can add that. And do you want to add another colour? Maybe... I don't know how you say this one, if it's ubi, ubi, not a clue. <laughs> I might add a bit of lavender as well. 
and we'll just go from there and see ah how it goes i oh, just a quick note because i've just been to greece this year i love the fact that we have some grecian blues mykonos or mykonos mykonos i think it's pronounced mykonos i always say mykonos and i've just realized i don't think mykonos is right i think it's mykonos Mykonos Blue, you may laugh at my funny pronunciation, Mykonos Blue and Aegean Blue. And actually, I have seen the Aegean Sea, <laughs> which was named after, is it Theseus's father? He was called King A Aegis or something like that. And he jumped into the water be um, because he thought Theseus was dead and they named the sea after him. So there you go. That is how the Aegean got his name. <laughs> There's a bit more to the story than that, but that's just a that's a very brief overview because it's a long story. <laughs> I haven't got all day to tell it. So we'll get our black first, which is our noir. It's it's got a French black name because noir is black in French. Um and it's A012. So right. <laughs> so this is gonna be an interesting segment. <laughs> I filmed me doing this, however. I was out of camera, out of shot, because I showed you something, and basically you did all see me colour this in. So this is a few days later, because I looked through my video, obviously as I was editing it, and realised, oh no, <laughs> you can't see this. So I have come back to insert this in the video, me colouring this blackberry in, so that you can see me colour it in with um, some colours. Okay, so um, it might be that some of the video gets a little bit disjointed in the middle. From me from doing the original segment to the segment so just bear with so we will be using black um a012 because we didn't have any dark um purples and blues so we are going to use black which i'm going to start putting on the paper now um to help add a little bit of depth but also to add a, a bit of oh, hold on not add to make our colors a bit darker basically so i'll make our colors come a bit, come out a bit darker because we've got the black so i'm just going to pop this down um and i'm kind of doing each of the berries like individually or like the segment things i don't know what you call these little knobbly brown these knobbly ball things but um i'm basically doing them separately rather than if you know me just doing it all shaded like that um, because, you know, they would have their own, like, shading and shadowing and things. They wouldn't just all be one colour. Unless, of course, you know, you want to do it that way. That is absolutely fine. Um, I, I'm not doing it that way, but <laughs> at the same time, you could do it that way. So, we just got to go add black on all of them. So that is the thing that you can, and I think I did say this later on in the video when I'm wrapping it up, because this is several days later, that um, obviously, although the set doesn't come with dark colours, you can use the dark greys, some of the dark browns, and also the black to help make those colours darker. Right, so next colour is Amethyst, because this is our darkest purple, and that is A088, so we're going to use that. So we'll go over where we did the black. Um, I am pressing a bit firmer with this one just because obviously I want to get it over the black because we don't really want to see that it is black we want to see that it's a dark purple so that's the thing I um also when you so dry this would look fine as well but obviously when you when we get it wet and um, the colors will see blend together so then you won't see it so much which is quite nice um let's do it here Okay, and then we have got some blue colours that we're going to add in as well, and well, one blue colour and then another purple, because I always feel like, I don't know, I always feel like blueberries, blackberries, any other sort of berry <laughs> that's like a really dark purple, tends to have like a hint of blue and stuff in it as well, I mean I guess blueberries probably do, and this is a blueberry colour pencil that we're going to use next, and that is A070. So we will pop, oh no, I went a bit harder. We'll pop that in. So we will get our little hint of blue, but we'll obviously we'll put another purple on the top, top of it as well. So, and as I said, it will help, uh, help um, 
when we blend it with the water. So we'll just do that. Oh, it's a little bit more there, we'll be fine. And then we've got our lavender, which is our last colour to use, which is A109. And because this is the last colour, you can just kind of go over the whole berry with it because it makes it a bit easier to colour rather than having to do all those little individual things. So we'll just do this. And now we will add the water. So let me get my water brush. Just got to check that it's... Oh, I might give it a squeeze, actually, get some more water flowing out of it. I'm just testing it on my hand. Okay, so we will have to do all the little knobbly things individually for this one. But I, I'm not actually wiping my brush off because I don't feel like I need to do that with with this one. Really? If I had like a bigger area, then I would. But as this is quite small, like it doesn't matter too much. Um, so I'll just do this. Um, yeah, there we go. Just checking I've got all the little bits. So that is our blackberry, which now you can see <laughs> um, how I did it because unfortunately before uh, I kind of forgot to show, well I didn't forget, I just didn't realise that I was out of camera and I was really annoyed about that. So um, this is that bit and the next bit we will go on to colouring this bit here which you will see in just a second. A, bear, a gooseberry maybe? A go I don't know what a gooseberry looks like. I'm just assuming a gooseberry is the, is a green version of a, um, of like a black of a blackberry slash raspberry that's just my interpretation of what a gooseberry looks like i don't know because i've not actually looked one up i hear them around a lot oh i think that looks nice let me just uh wipe my brush oh i like this so there we go so these um purples blues and the black that we use they've come out really nice oh i like that also it looks very watery at the minute um just a quick check as you can see this hasn't actually bled through the page at all so and i've used a fair bit of water not like chunks of water but i have used a fair bit like i have saturated it enough to get it to dissolve um but yeah it's nice to see that it hasn't gone through oh i really like that that looks really nice oh i do i do i like that so um we've got some nice colors there um now let's just go back to this little leaf here and add a bit of um Grey, I think we'll add a bit of charcoal. Charcoal, the A120. We'll add a bit of that to um, our now dry leaf and see if that makes a difference. It might, it might not. <laughs> also, just work good to see if you can actually layer things up. So, you could do what I'm just doing, put it on top and not activate it with water. So, maybe what we'll do is we'll activate one with water and we'll just leave one without it. And then we can compare and see the difference and see which looks better. Because sometimes I feel like actually it looks better if you just leave it as it is. Or, you know, sometimes it's still okay. Actually, I think it looks alright. It looks pretty much the same. They look the same with it being activated with water or if it's just dry there. So we'll, we'll leave that one there. So yeah, that looks better now that we've added a bit of depth to those. So those look better. Um, I'm trying to think if we could do something else or whether that's mostly it because I like to try and use some of the colours I'm just thinking I don't know what some of these berries are down here um if I can show you sorry guys I have to just like shove the book up uh, yeah I'm not really sure like what well, these are here so you know what let's just go and randomly colour them some colour I don't really care. <laughs> they don't have to look exactly like whatever they're supposed to look like in real life. Because I would like to try some of the more lighter, sort of pinky, um, peachy colours. I think that would be nice to just try and see what they're like. Uh, so let's get... I like this coral that we have. We've got a cutler. Right. So I thought it'd be nice to try some of um, these colours here and the coral... Ooh, the coral there, just give them a try and see what they're like. So we've got coral. So 
So we can use coral, maybe apricot, or should I use marmalade? Hmm. I might use marmalade just because I think it's like a different kind of name. If I can get the marmalade out of the tray, there we go, marmalade. And then maybe peaches and cream. Or should I use ivory actually? Oh, I might use ivory. Now it's quite funny because the ivory, <laughs> ivory is normally like an off-white, right? This is ivory, it's like a yellow. It does come, it does look like an ivory. Well, I don't know, I would say it looks like a cream color actually. I would call it cream rather than ivory. Um, if you have the ivory from the polychromo set, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> But we'll still use it. So I will add a touch of grey to add a bit of depth in here. But we need a lighter grey for that. So um, I think I will choose maybe oh maybe elephant grey. We'll go with elephant grey. This is like this is just a lighter grey. So this is a zero three five. So we're going to use the elephant grey just to add a little bit of um. Add a little bit of depth. Because that's what I find sometimes it's a bit harder to do stuff with some of the lighter colours. So I'll pop some there. And then... Uh, we'll just put some around this edge. I was just trying to decide if I wanted to put it on this side or the other side. Because I wasn't really sure. Can we see me do this? Yes, I was just checking. I was thinking, no, no, you won't be able to see me in the camera, but you can. Okay. Elephant grey, now let's get the coral. So coral, which I really like this one, is A046 is coral. So put that on top of the grey. Remember not to press too hard. And I'm probably going to have to use... Um, watch this video back again so that one day when I decide I want to finish all these... All these um, berries and things in this... <laughs> in this picture that I know what colours I used because <laughs> I might forget I've just gone back over with elephant grey again just to make it look a bit darker yeah these are coming out quite nice as well actually like laying down and that's a good thing as well like I'm not being I wouldn't normally if I'm using colour pencil properly would I sort of leave it like that but like you know it doesn't matter because it's watercolour and you're going to just blend it all together anyway you just sort of hash it down <laughs> as best you can <laughs> And again, we're going to just go back over with the grey just so we can add a bit more depth. Now we're going to use the marmalade again, another one I like the name of. Marmalade A010. And we're just going to go around. Oh, I really like these colours. So yeah, I think this is the plus side of the... Um, sorry about that noise, that's just me putting my feet on a box. Um, I think that's the plus side about these although yes okay they don't have some of the brighter like um brighter darker like purples and blues um or green for that matter because you know me i like a dark green um they do have these really nice sort of like pastely peachy kind of colors and i actually really like that um because sometimes i just want to have pastely colors and sometimes you don't have those in the set so so it kind of makes up in terms of it's got this instead. So, you you know, you get something. Um, and now we're going to use the ivory, which is A0575. And we'll just colour the rest of that with the ivory. Like this. Okay, and now we will add our water to it. And we'll see what that comes out like. So, as you can see, just before I do it, dry, that actually looks quite nice. So you could, you know, have still quite a nice effect with that if you wanted it to be dry. And now we are going to add our water. Just wipe that off. And there we go. And it doesn't look too bad. So I think that looks alright. I'm just going to bring it a bit closer. Yeah, so that looks quite nice actually. So, um... I think I'm going to leave it like that for now just because otherwise this could be a very very long video of me testing out <laughs> many different colour combos because obviously there's lots and lots of different colours but um, obviously I will use these continuing on um, in other projects and things so I will obviously be able to show you more ways in which you can use them in your books and things which is kind of cool um, so you'll be able to see more things you know get some more color combo ideas 
So today we also did some berries and leaves and I really, my favourite, <laughs> the one that we did is this blackberry. I really like how that came out. I think it looks amazing. Um, I really like the colours. So there you go. We didn't have a dark purple and we didn't have a dark blue. But because we used a black, we were able to, you know, utilise and make it look good. And it looked good dry and wet. Um, so that's just something that you can do. So as I say, I did have quite a bit of water. Not like massive amount. And it didn't bleed through to this other page here. So that's good. Obviously it does depend if you've got thinner paper. It will obviously maybe go through a bit more. Um, I would say these probably don't work that great if it's really really thin paper i haven't really tried it on say like create space so i'm not sure what it would look like on create space but i do think these look better if you've got you know the general paper you have normally in coloring books they look quite good um now obviously i personally would say compared to the albert Durers, they are not as vibrant color wise as they are but then the albert Durers are like I think their class is a professional set of pencils I think watercolor pencil I'm not sure but obviously they are like you know more professional stuff but I still think these are really really good and you get a nice coloration on you I mean I still think the colors look quite vibrant and are nice on here and as I say even like the lighter colors here I still like how they can come out um I do prefer I think the greens my other watercolor pencil sets but I still think these look nice and as I say I think these look better if you um add some grays or browns or black to help add a bit of shadow I think you get more like the purple that we add for those berries you'll get a bit more if you want more depth and things that is what you need to do to get a bit more out of your pencils if you just want to use them normally without adding depth and stuff these will still look great <laughs> so um and obviously, you can add them dry if you want to add a bit more depth in. If you want to afterwards, you can put them, leave them dry, or you can wet them afterwards. So, um, you know, it's good. So I do recommend re recommend these, especially if you are a, if you've got um, a cheaper. Well, if you haven't got as much of a budget on which to buy some products, I would su suggest these because I do feel like you're going to get a good use out of them. Because, um, yes, I know there are some better sets out there, like the Super Colours and things, but, you know, they are quite expensive. And, you know, if you can't afford to get them, or, you know, right now, I think these are quite a nice set. Good range of colours. As I say, don't worry that there isn't a darker green, purple, or blue, because at least you can, with the uh, blacks and the greys, and that's probably what they're in there for, to help you make, have, make them and use a darker colour, so... And as I say, you get a nice range of like lighter colours, um, which I can just show you again. We get a nice range of like lighter purples and lighter pinks, which I really like. And I really think that the green range we've got here is quite nice. And even the browns as well is quite a nice range of browns. So, and they have nice names. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed um, this review slash, um, you know, experiment <laughs> that I have for you today. And obviously, if you feel like you would like to get them, that's great. <laughs> but obviously, no worries if you don't. It's just to show you what you can do with these. And I will probably do more videos using these, as well as all my other products. Um, you know, I use all my pencils generally when you see me colour videos. So you'll see, you'll see these again. <laughs> I'll certainly use them. Um, I will probably use them to finish this page, which I have not now started and how I'm not started uh, finished even so I will see you soon hope you enjoyed um, and have a good day everyone. hi guys I'm just adding in a little bit extra onto the video um, because I'm not sure I couldn't remember if I said this or not but um, there will be links below um, on how and where you can buy the um, products for our teaser and I believe there's also um, a slight discount as well I think I think it's I'm not sure how much it is, but there is a discount. <laughs> so, um, I also do not know how long the offer is valid for, but it is it will be offer valid for a while. So, obviously, if you're watching this video and it is months, or uh, you know, after I've made it, that might not be available anymore. Um, however, actually, if you buy products from our teaser and you're on their mailing list, they, they quite often will send you offers in your um, email. So I quite often get um, discounted offers from them, like, you know, 10, 15, 20% off. So well worth it, because that makes these affordable items even more affordable. 
which is another thing that I like about um, Arteza, which is quite nice. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the video, which you may have already heard me say <laughs> already in the other ending. And I will see you soon with another review and obviously colouring and all that soon. Bye, guys.